Customization of the PS5 has become a lot more common than not. I know some of you love the original plates that come with the digital and the disc edition consoles. I have no issue with the original plates, I just prefer dark plates. Personally, that is. Comment down below if you prefer white or black plates on your console. I tried getting custom plates from Dbrand when they had their first batch. They've had these dark plates and custom stickers out for a couple months now, but they only had the disc edition dark plates, which didn't work for my console build. I was finally able to pre-order some digital edition dark plates about a month ago or so, and I finally got them in the mail. What's going on you guys, it's Midas, and today I'll be doing some quick custom work on my digital edition PlayStation 5 console. To be specific, I'll be switching out the white plates for some custom dark plates and a sticker. Honestly, this is probably one of the easiest custom work that can be done on the PS5. Okay, so we're almost done ripping the box apart here so we can see what's in there. As you can already see right now, we've got the sticker, some cleaning cloth over there, and the box. So we're gonna go in and see what's really inside the box or what's inside the package. So right here, we've got a microfiber cloth, obviously for cleaning the dark plates in case you smear them with fingerprint marks or if they're just dirty. The material feels pretty nice. You know, just a basic microfiber material. So we're gonna put that to the side. Right next up here, we've got the sticker. So I'm pretty sure there's two of them. One goes underneath the PlayStation 5 and the other one goes in front of it. So you're going to cover up the glossy black finish that they already have there with this sticker. You can always omit it if you want a full black, you know, look. But I'm going to put this on because I want the red as well on my PlayStation 5. These aren't the only stickers that you can buy. I'm pretty sure there's lots of different styles and designs. So depending on what you're looking for, you can go out there and search for it. So Dbrand has these red ones as well as some black ones, different designs like I said. You can go ahead and try them out and see whichever one works for you. As you can see right there, that covers up the bottom parts, those little cutouts right there are for the fan or you know getting air into the ps5 and this is the front side as you can see it just peels off right there and then you stick it on to your ps5's front side so right next we've got the box it's a nice little packaging they've got here for dark plates you know there's more microfiber cloth with the d brand logo on it it's right there as you can see so we're gonna open this up and see what's inside the box i've already got some smear marks on them <laughs> i don't know how but opening the box the first thing that you'll notice is the foam layer there's also some text at the top of the box so so you'll notice right there it says purchase check mark deliver check mark install shows you how to do it so you have to go on dbrand.com forward slash how or watch this video right here it's nothing crazy like i said so we're going to take off the first foam layer and you'll notice the first thing we'll see is a simple dark plate so no logos nothing just a dark plate that you can stick onto your playstation 5 digital console right there the material feels pretty sturdy quality is definitely huge for me so this definitely passes that test right there the quality feels nice it doesn't feel like it's one of those cheaply made plates that you find out there okay let's set that to the side you'll notice that there's another foam layer right there covering the second dark plate so it's similar to the first one looks pretty much identical i'm getting a lot of nostalgia from having these plates right now honestly just looking at them takes me back to the ps4 the ps3 and the ps2 days those were all black consoles so having these just takes me back just a little bit i don't know about you okay enough of that let's set that to the side as well and see what else is in the package obviously there's nothing else left there i just ripped the last foam layer well we're just gonna stick it back and try to work on the ps5 now so we're going to take off the base of the console because i have mine mounted vertically not horizontally so taking it off is important to take off the plates as you can see right now it's super easy to take out the plates nothing crazy all you gotta do is pry them off and they pop off so easily like i said the first dark plate does not have the playstation logo as you can see so take note of that when getting these plates or if you're going to be getting them but right there we are basically ready to switch out everything now everything's ready to go so all we gotta do now is pop on the black plates as well as the sticker on the front end which is even easier than sticking on the dark plates as you can see right there it's a glossy finish that we're going to be replacing with a red finish with some you know fun design logos on it right there so what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna stick it up line them up accurately so you don't ruin the sticker before you place it on there it's a really simple process it's all about having a really delicate touch so be careful with it like i said line them up nicely and it's going to look really good so right there we're done with that next thing we're going to do is stick on one of the plates. So the first plate right here, like I said, it's super easy to do these things. Just pop them on and off. That's how quickly you can take off and on these dark plates or any plates for that matter. Onto the next side. So it's a similar process, virtually the same 
All you have to do is pop it on and you're good. So we're basically done installing the black plates. I'm gonna give it a good rotation here so you guys can see how it looks. There's just one last piece left. So one more sticker on the bottom end right there. So as you can see, we're going to install that right away. It's gonna take no time as well. Just like the front sticker, you wanna make sure you align everything properly or you're going to have a bad setup. We're going to get that done pretty quickly here so we can go ahead and add the base and then go ahead and play with this, man. Have some fun with the game and have that new aesthetic on the TV stand. So right there, it's done. So what you wanna do now is add the base or the stand if you're going to be mounting vertically. If not then you're good to go you don't even need to do anything else here all's left is to plug it in so right there it's plugged in connected sitting on the stand or right next to the stand doesn't really work with my white stand right there but if you have a black stand or something similar then I think it'll work really well with that aesthetic but some people might argue that it looks really good with that stand even but me personally I don't think it looks as great with the stand but by itself it looks awesome it looks amazing I love the black plates and I love the red stickers so the good thing about it is I'm also getting the cosmic red controller as well as the black controller so those two controllers are gonna work well with this setup I'm already a huge fan of the color red so having a red sticker mixed with black in my opinion my honest opinion is awesome looks sick I might be biased here but like I said in my honest opinion so that's me right there regardless of how you mount your ps5 after installing these dark plates I think it's going to look really well so this is vertically standing it when mounted horizontally it looks just as well so this is the digital edition customization of the PlayStation 5 this looks clean so the digital edition already has a very nice look so having customization options for it makes it even look better as for the red sticker I forgot to mention at the beginning those are MKBHD red code wallpaper design and if you're wondering what those symbols are on the red code design they're mostly social media logos so Instagram Twitter Wi-Fi all different kinds of you know digital kind of logos so now that we're done with the customization I want you guys to let me know down in the comment section what you think about this customization and what you would do differently if you had the opportunity or if you went and bought custom plates what kind of plates would you buy I want to know down in the comment section let's have a discussion about it man let's have some fun with it I'll tell you guys right now though that I love the new look of the console for me the white and black I'm not saying it was bad but it's not for me it just didn't work for me man the black and red now that's my style right there and the controllers are just going to finish it up for me perfectly these plates costed about 65.95 us dollars and that's the plates and the stickers the plates by themselves cost about 49 us dollars and that's after a discount the stickers by themselves cost about 11.95 without anything else so when you add them up together you get about 60.95 plus shipping five dollars that cost about 65.95 us dollars so make sure you take note of that but that's all i've got for you guys in this video right here i hope you guys have found this one useful or at least enjoyed this customization option if you want to learn more about dbrand plates you can go ahead and check down in the description you'll see a link don't forget to support your boy and hit that like button and subscribe if you're new to my channel hit the gold bell icon right next to the subscribe button to turn on notifications and go ahead and join my notification gang fam if you made it to this point of the video i really appreciate it thank you for watching i will see you guys in my next video but before that go ahead and check out some of my other videos by clicking the video on the screen right now and i will catch you guys in my next video it's your boy midas and i am out y'all